Hello YouTube, in this video, I'm going to show you how to block the app Tubi on all devices, but especially on the Roku TV and other Roku devices. So if you go to the channel, the app will open up and display all their movies and TV shows. And now there's different reasons why someone might want to block Tubi. Maybe you spend too much time on it. Maybe you don't like the programming and you don't think it's safe for everyone. or Maybe there's another reason. Maybe you, you just don't want it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. How to block Tubi. Now, there are different ways of doing this. And I'm going to show you two ways in this video. One way will be by blocking specific domain names on the router. And the second way will also be by blocking specific domain names. But this time, it'll be by using OpenDNS. So let's see the first way, the router way. Uh, first, you have to log into your router IP address, and usually there's only two. It's either this one or that one. I know mine is the first one, so I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me to my router login. Uh, I just have to type in my password for TP-Link. I log in, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on Advanced, and I'm going to go to Parental Controls, and I'm going to add a profile. So we can give it a name. Let's give it a name block to be and we're gonna add a device I'm just gonna add one device my Roku streaming uh, stick for my TV uh, just to show you how it works and what it does so once I have added my Roku device I click next on filter rule you <clears throat> click on blacklist and on blacklist you're gonna input these URLs or domain names and this is what's gonna block the whole Tubi app and it's going to make it not work anymore. The first website or domain is pretty simple. It's TubiTV.com. The second one is Google.Tubi.Video. And the third one is CloudFront.Tubi.Video. You're gonna hit on next internet allowed time well I'm I don't care about blocking the internet so I'll, I'll turn on the internet at all times so I'll save that I hit save and operation successful so now let's see what happens on the TV and just as a quick side note uh, since we only have one device being monitored right now what you could do is you could look at the report you could click on view report and go to most visited and it's going to tell you all the websites that that particular device is accessing in this case it's only the tv and you can see the urls that are being fed to the tv so i first went to system settings and i went to system restart and i did a restart just to get the just to clear the cache of the tubi app so now if i go back to the app So now if I go back to the app and I click on it, it's going to load and we're going to see that it, there's going to be a difference now because I blocked it on my router. So as you can see, what I did was I blocked all the thumbnails for all the videos and if I try and click on one for example let me click on this one let me play it it loads but it doesn't fully load so it doesn't work anymore is that it's not loading the movie so let's try a different one maybe it's just one movie uh, I'm just gonna pick one at random intensive care Okay, so the ads do work, but right now when the ad finishes, it's not going to work. We're interested if, if it plays the video or not. And there we go again. It cannot play the video. So as you can see, by adding the URLs that I added to the blacklist, now the 2B app doesn't work and it's half frozen. So you can try this with more videos maybe it's just a few that aren't working but 
if I just click one at random, once again, it doesn't want to load. Why? Because I blocked the signal, so it can't load anymore. So this, so this was the first way of blocking a website or an app such as Tubi. But now I'm going to show you a different way. You by using OpenDNS. This is my favorite way. I think this is a better way. But if you don't want to use OpenDNS, you can do it this way by using the router. But before I go to OpenDNS, I'm going to delete this profile and get rid of it and now I'm gonna not and now uh, Tubi will be allowed because I wanna now block it with OpenDNS so let's go to OpenDNS and see how that works so next you go to OpenDNS.com you're gonna go to consumer hit learn more you're gonna go to OpenDNS home free all this is free you're gonna sign up you're gonna enter your information and you're gonna create a free account so now to set up the device we're gonna choose a home router as our device because everything including our Roku TVs connect to the home routers to get internet we're not gonna go this route computer workstation and laptop because this would only work for that particular computer or laptop so we're going to keep these in mind as well. We're going to copy and paste these into our router settings. But before we do that, we need to figure out what kind of router we have. So that's why we click on home router settings. And here you have a list of many, many routers. Click the one that you have. Hopefully it's here. And if it's not, uh, there's still ways that you can access your router. But once you click on the router that you have, And once you follow the instructions to set up OpenDNS with your router, after that, basically it's simple. You grab these two name servers and you go back to your TP-Link router settings and you're going to go to network and DHCP server. What you're basically looking for is for it to say primary DNS and secondary DNS. That's where you're going to put in these two numbers from the setup guide because this is going to connect you to the OpenDNS servers. And once you have that saved and you're done. Next you go to the OpenDNS dashboard and you should see something that says add a network. That's basically your IP address so you're going to add that network. I already added mine so I don't have to add it again but once you do you give it a name and you add it. And now your all your devices will be on this network. The, what OpenDNS allows you to do is configure that network and it helps you to block certain things that you don't want others to look at. You can block entire categories like AdWord, alcohol, dating, uh, drugs, nudity, and so forth. And you can also customize your own. And that's what we're going to do. And just like earlier, like we did with the router, we are also going to add these three domain names here on this box. And they were tubitv.com. google.tubi.video and cloudfront.tubi.video and once you add these three it's going to take about three minutes for these settings to take place and once you do that it's going to work so back on the tv make sure you uninstall the app first then restart your device that way it'll clear the memory that it has of it and then add the channel again to install the app again and once it installs you go to the channel and let's see what happens when we are on open dns So just like before, everything is blocked. If I try and click on a video and I try to watch it, there's an error. Something went wrong. It won't let me play it.
because it's blocked because I blocked the URLs that are feeding this video. Let's just hover over and just click on a random video. The ads will play, but when the ad finishes, the video will not work. And that's what we're going to see right now. So there you go. The video is trying to load, but it can't because it's blocked. And the good thing about OpenDNS is that it doesn't just do it for one device or two. It does it for all the devices on the network that are connected to the Wi-Fi router or the, or the Wi-Fi network that you have. Live TV does work because I didn't block that URL, but you could block it. But I was just interested in blocking the movies and TV shows. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.